And now for part two of our Route 66 journey through northeastern Oklahoma. In Afton, Oklahoma, we came across this old DX gas station which was built in the 1930s. The owners found it dilapidated and in need of repair, so they purchased it and turned it into a museum of Route 66 memorabilia and of Packard automobiles. The owner died and so the automobiles were sold and as of right now the museum is closed. Another significant landmark in Afton is no longer. The Palmer Hotel was destroyed by fire in July of this year. It was built in 1911 and welcomed many guests along historic Route 66. This is one reason why I like to document these old buildings because when they're gone, they're gone and we are losing a lot of them. Another landmark of Route 66. It's built in 1926 and carried U.S. Highway 66 traffic from 1926 to 1932. 123 feet long, 19 feet wide the only remaining unaltered example of the modified Pratt through trust design in the state of Oklahoma. Everything I read about this bridge says that this bridge is no longer in use, but I did see cars crossing it and we even parked our car on it to take that fun shot. So, Mr. Smith, how do you feel about crawling into a hole? I've done a lot of things in my life, but I don't know about crawling in no hole. Route 66. You're going to get your kicks under Route 66. I'm going to get my kicks under Route 66. Well, we'll see when we get down in the hole. This is a really neat underground tunnel that goes under Route 66 in Chelsea, Oklahoma. All right. We are now under Route 66. You didn't bring anything to write your name on with. No, Justin's card's in here somewhere. 
I will not spend my time trying to find where. So it's a nice little underground pathway. A lot of names. Wonder if this is where people come for tornadoes. There'd probably be a suction. Hey, there's the Prior Creek Bridge we just visited. Jerry, get your picture taken over here by the mother road. Huh? Stand there by the mother road. Stand by what? The mother road. Is that what that is? Sixty-six. 66 was considered the mother road. I did not know that. And it's not really hot under here. We started out this morning way up over here into Kansas. We've been making our way down. We're in Chelsea right now. And now we're out on the other side by the Chelsea Pharmacy. And there's our car over there. We could have had a selfie had I brought my phone with this about 66 U-Haul. And so our journey on Route 66 for today comes to an end at the Blue Well in Catoosa, Oklahoma. We started out early this morning in Baxter Springs, Kansas, and we have been working our way down through the different historic small towns along Route 66, catching the various historic spots. And this was my shooting point for today. To reach the Blue Well in Catoosa, Oklahoma. Back in its heyday, this was a place where kids could come and swim. You can see the ladder there that would go up to the tail of the well, and they would jump off, dive into the water. Now there's no swimming allowed. There is fishing.
And my husband found his fishing pole again. Of course. Now the kids could get on this back in the day and slide off into the water. Just one on each side. So I want to thank you for joining us on this journey today through Route 66, starting at Baxter Springs, Kansas and working our way from northeastern Oklahoma down to Catoosa, Oklahoma at the Blue Well, the famous Blue Well in Catoosa, Oklahoma. That's going to wrap up our journey today. If you enjoyed this journey, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share it out. Remember, you have but this one life to live. So go out and capture your moments.